The United States and China are currently the two most powerful countries in the world, and their competition in the semiconductor industry is particularly fierce. The United States has not only imposed technical embargoes and trade sanctions on China, but has also frequently taken actions on some important equipment, attempting to use different methods to stop China's technological progress. Although many people think that China will suffer a huge impact, China has achieved a number of important breakthroughs through its own innovation, especially in the field of chips. So what is the difference between what China develops and what the United States develops? After Trump took office, the United States has continuously launched technology wars and trade wars and regards China as its biggest competitor and threat. Under the repeated instigation of the United States, Western powers such as Europe and the United States have also taken similar measures to impose technical embargoes and economic and trade sanctions on China attempting to stop China's technological progress in various ways. Interestingly, Ling Chao, which is rumored to have received tens of millions of yuan in investment from Huawei, has been on the hot search many times recently. Previously, many netizens found that various AJ trendy shoes green water ghost watches, coach men's and women's bags and other first-line brands that cost thousands or even tens of thousands in major live broadcast rooms were snapped up at a price of less than 200 yuan on the Ling Chao app. As a result, Ling Chao was boycotted by several e-commerce giants in the name of a malicious competition, but millions of Ling Chao users did not care about this and left messages in the comment area. The popular coconut shoes bought from Ling Chao are only 200 yuan, durable and good-looking and it is recommended to have more such malice. It has to be said that China still has to wait and see whether this move is a normal expansion of the company or its seizure of the blue ocean. Especially after the semiconductor war launched by the United States, the United States has pointed its target at China. The United States not only provides China with an entity list and a national security risk list, but also frequently tampers with some important equipment to curb China's chip production capacity in various ways. So in what aspects has the United States restricted China's semiconductors? especially lithography machines, which are regarded as key equipment for U.S. sanctions. In order to prevent the development of China's semiconductor industry, the United States has adopted export controls and technical blockades to try to prevent the import of Chinese lithography machines by ASML of the Netherlands. Despite various suppressions and restrictions from the United States, China has not stopped. On the contrary, China's attitude in developing its own products has become more resolute. China has a good understanding of the importance of localization and also deeply realizes that in order to win a place in the world, 
it must get out of the control and constraints of others. Faced with pressure from the United States, China not only did not slow down, but also accelerated its own research and made important progress in many aspects. Especially in core equipment such as optical microscopes, China has overcome a series of key problems through its own efforts and developed a large number of domestic lithography equipment. So, what is the difficulty of self-developed lithography machines? The core technical difficulties of lithography machines lie in ultraviolet light sources and reflectors, which are precisely the constraints of the United States on China. It was in this core technology field that was blocked by the United States that China made a breakthrough and obtained its own lithography equipment. China has made great progress in lithography technology, which is a huge good news for the entire semiconductor industry. With the continuous advancement of lithography technology, China's independent research and development in semiconductor technology has also been greatly promoted. At the same time, China has also achieved independent research and development of 28 nanometers process, which has become an important part of China's important progress in chip manufacturing. Previously, due to the constraints of various U.S. policies, China's exports of semiconductor materials were heavily dependent on foreign countries, and semiconductor materials with a process of 28 nanometers and above basically had to rely on imports. After the localization of 28 nanometers, China will get rid of the control of other countries and gradually get rid of its dependence on foreign products. This has an important role in China's semiconductor industry. It can not only enhance China's independent control in manufacturing, but also effectively reduce the manufacturing costs of products and enhance its international competitive advantage. So, what do the viewers in front of the channel think of China's semiconductor development? Please leave your comments in the comment area, like and collect. See you next time.